Hello everybody, my name is Courtney Davis and welcome to Spirit of Celtia. I'm very pleased today to have um, a good friend um, here um, who's going to interview me. Uh, this is Sean Fitzgerald, a wonderful Celtic artist who I've known for a number of years now. And um, I'll let, I'll let um, Sean introduce himself. How you doing? Uh, I'm Sean, thanks Courtney. Uh, <laughs> my name's Sean Fitzgerald, I'm, I'm based up in the northwest of Ireland and I uh, started getting into Celtic art in the 80s and one day I went into a small health food shop there and I saw some beautiful artwork by uh, what I presumed was a female called Courtney Davis and um, I'd been very familiar of course with Jim Fitzpatrick's work here in Ireland and then it was just okay who's this Courtney Davis Who, who's this and I'm looking at the back okay they're based in the UK and then it was to how do I get more of their stuff so um, there was other stuff that was influencing me at the time there was um, Slana which used to be an 80s comic and it had the old ancient stories bits of Celtic knot work in it um, so these influences like it can be okay all I had at the time was a postcard of Courtney's but you know yourself you look at the work you get lost in knots you'll go back you'll find something else that you never saw before um, so you always imagine maybe this um, scribe this monk-like character sitting in a tower with this you know um, <laughs> feather pen scribbling all his knot works um, so it was only a pleasure then to meet Courtney all these years later and I was very lucky that uh, Courtney published my, my own book, The Last Battle of Moitura, uh, which I'm still very honoured and, and flattered by yeah. to, to get somebody, um, you know, as who I was a fan of, of your art for so many years. So, um, yeah, so anyway, I, I've been doing Celtic art for a long time. My book came out with Courtney's and it's to even visit here in the studio is, 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 is fantastic because I flick through his books and it's a case of you're just inspired by everyone, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my Now, I had prepared questions, and I wrote them all on my computer months ago. Right. And I'd gotten all your pictures, and I was like, this is going to be very contrived. And then I was thinking, the best conversations is when we're talking. Yeah. So, okay. What's currently influencing you right now? Musically, media, your surroundings. What is fueling you right now? Yeah, well, um... Now, oh, the first thing I'm going to say, okay, is that I, I, because of the nature of what we're, we're of us, what we're talking, all right, um, the energies are going to come close, okay, and so there's going to be times when um, I stop, hmm. and I might even find it difficult to to talk, but just just relax into it. Yeah, and um, and then they'll they'll step back. They might say something, but they'll step back. Okay, that's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, it's really it's natural, and um, uh, these this it just happens. They're they're curious. They're they're interested in what we're what we're doing, right? Mm. And, and 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 so they like to they they kind of move forward. All right, that's good. So right. there yeah. you go. <laughs> right okay so so will I ask you uh, yeah to, to format a question it's like you know the way you might be working on something but something it could be a movie it could be a song yeah it would fuel you like and it would fuel the work and make you really flow with something what is it now you know sometimes it could be landscape it could yeah. be even an image yeah what do you think is pushing you right now well, it's really, really, I mean, for me, it's really interesting because um, um, 
I've been painting paintings, right? Pretty much non-stop um, for the last 45 years or whatever, right? And um, although in 2012 um, they did stop um, be before I had the, the experience, um, and um, but then 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 the engines came back. But the thing is that um, um, over the last year. Um, it's been it's been more difficult actually going to the drawing board and painting, mm. um, and uh, I found um, a lot of uh, kind of joy and um, expression creating the videos because um, all the time people are coming in and saying, um, oh, you, you, "You really must talk a bit more about your life and, yeah. and what's behind the pictures and stuff like." That. So that's been really enjoyable. Okay, um, but I think. The biggest thing for me is um, we. I was talking to you earlier about um, people coming into the gallery and um, um, they're distressed, and you need. To, I need to sit down. I sit down with them and I talk to them, and whatever. Or people just come in and just sit in the gallery for an hour mm. and whatever. And it's almost like um, the the importance of the gallery is coming to its into into its place. Now, where before it was a gallery, now it feels like it's more of a um, um, a sacred space. Yeah, you know, and so um, um, so that's been um, um, a, a huge drive over the last over the last of couple of months. Um, while I've been I've done quite a few videos um, mm. over the last few months, it's kind of like um, I needed to get express this stuff and, and, and kind of get it out uh, yeah. maybe there's a at some point there's going to be a, a new style of art again you know like i when i had the ex experience in 2012 i started creating all the the large paintings mm. um and then and then over the last um well since i've been in, in um ontario i've been doing a lot more kind of goddess oh yeah goddess, yeah stuff fantastic. and um but it's like um it just it just feels like everything is going up to another another level now, and um, you know spiritually people are, are, are you know, what we thought was life has now been taken away from us. You know, it's a whole different it's a whole different ball game now. You know, yeah. and um, and so that's for me that's the most important thing. And the lovely thing is that um, people get um, uh, pick up the energy from the paintings and. Um, and so um, it's a great joy, you know, kind of being here. And and you know, what you got to what you got to understand is that um, for um, um, probably 35 longer of those years, I was painting all these books, 53 books, right, and doing paintings a day and all this stuff. Kind of, but I was never ever getting any um, feedback. Okay. Because yeah. there was all I was creating these books, but there was no internet. You know, there was nothing like that so all these books were going out there but I never knew what um, you know what people were thinking you know mm. about books so it's only been um, really this last I don't know probably say 10 years that uh, I'm actually kind of getting feedback that people are coming especially coming into the gallery and because um, I mean I've been doing it for so long and it's almost like I'm some mythical character Mm. And they don't believe that there is actually a Courtney Davis, and the fact that he's a bloke and not a woman, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. and do you think has it changed you a lot, like with that constant interaction? Um, oh yeah. I mean, mm. um, yeah. I mean, I can't really kind of put it into words, but um, um, it just feels that. Um, The, 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 it's like a different Courtney, mm -hmm. if you know, if yeah, yeah. Sense. you know, people keep coming in and saying, you know, you've, they look at me and they say, you've changed, Some, something's happened, and it's kind of, a, and, and I kind of feel that, um, 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 <laughs> um, for you, for the, when I came to, um, um, to Ireland, right, 
I had this awakening experience in um, in 2012, right? And um, and my whole perception of the world and whatever changed um, because of it. And it was like um, I um, I was I was pushing back the Merlin thing. I wasn't interested in Merlin, mm. right? Um, but over the last two three years I, f I feel like I'm becoming bloody Merlin so <laughs> <laughs> so he's kind of he's kind of uh, taken over and I've accepted you know that um, yeah. you know whatever, whatever the, the energy is that's working through um, it's um, it's beneficial to whoever the people are coming in and people that feel the energy in the in the building and stuff like that so no, yeah. get you. but you're obviously getting a lot of with the Leah Fall just over there that's fueling a lot of stuff too I'd imagine like where you are is such yeah, a I, I, yeah um yeah because when I came to it's, it's really weird that I did all I did all these books and a lot of it was about Ireland myths and legends and stuff but um for some reason when I came to Tara I had a total block I had no idea what Tara hmm. what Tara was and um and so it's um, I feel that um, I'm connected here, obviously connected here, and I'm working um, with the energies and stuff like that. But I, uh, but I, I don't kind of um, get drawn into the um, the building to the hill and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you understand? Do you yeah. understand? It's like you know, um, when I came to when I came to Ireland, there was a, a sacred tree I used to go to in West Cork, and um, and one day when I went there, um, this was I was only in Ireland a, a few weeks, and it felt like um, the angel of Ireland or whatever had wrapped itself around me, hmm. and um, uh, because I was broke, I had no money. Uh, I've been living in my car and stuff like that, and um, and then a friend of mine um, asked um, if I'd like to come to visit Tara. Okay, so we came to Tara. Um, I went into the coffee shop, and the guy recognised me and brought me down here. And um, and that was I was supposed to have an exhibition for two months, and it ended up seven years. So wow. so it's like that that energy that wrapped itself around me it's like protection protection and mm -hmm. opened this all up for me you know well wow. yeah yeah this i always say to people you know you know the um the universe the beloved is so amazing that you think you like you've come to a brick wall and then um you know the, the beloved the, um, just knocks the wall down and you go through you know and yeah. um, yeah, like, it's, and it's happened to me through my life over and over again. As a fan of your work, when you came, like, my favourite work of yours is the stuff you've done since being here. Like, my, normally fans of some an artist, they'd say, I like the early stuff. Yeah. And then, and then they just kind of started turning them yeah. out. Whereas yours, suddenly you're on this, you've changed. You, you've, like, you went into the mandala. Yeah, yeah. And now you've changed again. I don't know what I would call the work now because I wouldn't say, oh, it's it's Irish yeah. or anything like that. But yeah. it's, it's like I know there's a lot of focus on on the the, the uh, gods and goddesses. Yeah. Um, but obviously, none was that. That wasn't a conscious decision. No, obviously. no, no, no. And uh, I mean, you know, I talk about Merlin a lot, but I don't see Merlin as this historical or mythical figure. Mm. I see it as an as a, it's an energy. And, um, and one aspect of it is this one that um, I've been working with. Um, and, what I, and so, you know, people ask me when I'm doing the, the goddesses, well, you know, I, what I try to do is to um, switch off all the, the story mm. and more tune into, you know, the, the energy of that um, to do the painting. So whenever I've done interviews on the radio and TV and stuff like that. I always say to them, don't ask me about myths and legends because I know nothing about myths and legends. I could talk about... Yeah. Well, you do a bit. So. Only 
Yeah, Only but you don't claim to be an academic about it. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah. no. And the trouble is, you know, that you know, one person's truth is another person. You know, it's it's kind of. Yeah. And so I just keep well clear of the. Uh, mm. I mean, I've kept well clear of the whole Celtic um, um, artists and stuff over the years. I've always I've always just been quietly just working away in my own. I haven't got involved in societies and groups and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. I've, I've kind of, um, you know, I keep uh, kids to myself because um, um, one of the great fears, because I was doing so much, um, so much art, you know, say on a daily basis, um, I didn't want to be looking at somebody else's art mm -hmm. and then maybe at some point um, that idea of that might come into the picture, you know. Of course. And so, um, yeah. So, yeah. But there's, I'd say, there's a huge jump from when you started to now. Oh yeah. So, years yeah. ago, how did you? I'm, I'm kind of jumping completely, but since, like, right. So you're not getting influenced by, you know, that you're trying to avoid getting influenced by artists, current artists. Yeah. But you know when you're going into these old manuscripts, yeah. can you tell, or you see, you might have answered this a million times in interviews, but you know when you're redrawing from all these books, yeah. tell me a bit of the process of how did you get access to the books? How did you get to... I don't... Um, I, I, I started off um, by the George Bain book, Fantastic. Celtic Art Medicine yeah, yeah. Construction, and then I met his um, brother or son, well, um, my son was yeah Ian was, yeah. Ian and Bain he did a book and, as well yeah yeah so um, um, and so I, I kind of used those to um, get a um, an idea of um, how to do the the knot work you know with with a knot I don't know with you found it but I find that with a lot of people it is like there's this wall um, with knot work and then once you break through it then you it's like it flows. But up till then, you know, you're you're really struggling. It's like mathematical yeah, equations. Yeah, 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 trying yeah. to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've never ever ever um, done any of my I, uh, paintings and drawings and stuff um, mathematically. None of this, even, even all this kind of stuff. Mm. There's, I just literally um, I, I get a compass, draw a compass line, and then then the picture seems to develop on its own and. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, do you, um, speaking of the drawing techniques, so we'll say if you're doing a knot, right, do you trace the knot or well, not oh, all yeah. the way up the page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. I find it's almost like, is it almost like people are disappointed to know the tricks or something like, I'll, I'll yeah. talk, like, you know, when you, you're doing a Celtic border yeah. and you get to this corner. Yeah. And there's so many times I've messed the corner, <laughs> but I'll hide by putting things through the corner. <laughs> and you're kind of going, yeah. yeah. It's I suppose we all have our different processes, yeah. don't we? Like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. so did you go? I in mean, most, you know, you know, with all this stuff, um, it starts off, you know, working from a light box, you yeah. know, to to get the um, um, the the outline mm -hmm. done, but then. Um, the, the detail comes when you're actually when I start painting itself. I don't put the de the detail isn't there. It's my 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 roughs are very rough. So how do you how do you start? Do you start with a maybe a, a character or a, what way does it work or is there a no process? idea? No okay. idea. It just yeah. yeah. There's times when I've gone to the drawing board and um, um, and I've looked to the looked to the uh, at the paper. And then I've gone and laid down for about half an hour. I go to sleep, yeah. wake up, go back to the drawing board, and then I can start. Then I start kind of drawing. Oh, okay. And um, and what normally happens is that um, I spend the day um, drawing, uh, doing the um, pencil drawing of a picture, right? Mm. And then um, the next day um, I come down. I pretty much throw that away. And then it's like, uh, it takes me like, um, um, well, well, certainly since being in Ireland um, the, this last seven years, that um, um, it takes me a day to um, like attune to that particular energy. Mm. And so we work together 
you know, playing about, you know, and then um, I throw it away, and then the next day I'm ready for action, and then and then it's um, okay. So it's almost like fresh eyes at it every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you seem a lot freer with the Celtic stuff. Like a lot of artists are very uh, with Celtic knot work. It's um, it's a lot more painstakingly. You would spend nearly a yeah. month trying to get that border. You're yeah. a lot freer with your stuff. Like, were you always that relaxed with it? Like, or did well, it just I take mean, years that, and years? You know, um, um, you know, the story is that someone asked me to. Um, to um, do a commission painting of Merlin for a friend, and so, um, and they said the only thing they would say to me was to go out at night, look at the plow in the sky, and ask Merlin for help. Hmm. And I went out, and a shooting star went through the plow, and I went back to the drawing board, and, and where, um, um, So, so where, so where the pictures would um, um, have taken like weeks to do a picture, hmm. when I went back to the drawing board, these little blue lights started touching the picture. Right? And what happened was that they were guiding me to how the picture should work. And if I put anything into the picture, which wasn't supposed to be there, there's something that I thought was quite neat, right? Yeah. Then the lights would stop, right? Wow. And then as soon as I took that out, then the lights would start again, and away we go. And then gradually, um, um, I would stand up um, just to get a break, and I would hold out my hands, and and um, energies would take hold of my hands, and we would stand there looking at the picture, and they'd be holding my hands. And then um, gradually, the the blue lights started to. Um, to stop and what happened was that I would then get hands started to rest on my shoulder as I worked and then um, um, If I again tried to um, put something into the picture that wasn't supposed to be there I would get like a poking in the back with the finger in my back wow. until I um, took the thing out and gradually I just learned that um, to, um, to To trust what you know, um, what was going on, and um, and allowing the um, the art to express itself um, how it wanted, rather than um, although although there's um, in a lot of the well most of the the paintings I'm doing with the um, goddesses are um, you know um, oblong because we're going to be using them as cards and stuff like that, um, but um, when this was going on, it would allow the painting to like explode. So you, you, there might be a square, but all of a sudden, they'll, the, um, you would break out of that square, and um, something would kind of, um, kind of happen. I know exactly what you mean. I think I know some of the drawings you're even speaking about. Yeah. Was that the first? Uh, I know you've probably talked about this a lot, but was that the first of that kind of Merlin energy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And when yeah. when was that? If you don't mind me, was so that, that like eighties? Yeah. It... So that was in nineteen. Um, yeah, nineteen eighty two. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I had um, the um, experience um, 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 in in the hospital um, of um, having a psychic operation, and um, um, and at the end of my bed was um, eight. What I realised now was eight Merlins. Eight aspects of Berlin, and then, then so then I, then so then there was like um, I think it was seven or eight years where I was trying to find you know what my what my path was, yeah, and um, and everything I tried didn't seem to fit the thing, and then um, and then I started drawing. My my dad died, and I had to look after my mum, 
and so um, it gave me the time to um, to do some to start and doing some drawings. And so it's like one of these things where you're looking for a door to open, and you re you don't realise, but you're through the door, mm. and then you you know um, somebody saw one of my drawings and wanted it on a magazine cover, yeah. and it all kind of um, kind of took off from there, really. Do you think the passing of your father would out to be like a psychoanalysing all this, but the passing of your father, do you think that impacted? As well as the Merlin experience, do you think that was also a big um, event, on, obviously in your life, but, but with your work? Uh, well, it, the, the only way is that, yes, um, it gave me the time to to stop. Mm. That I did. I didn't. I stopped. I stopped working because I had to stay with my mum, and so I wasn't working. So they gave me time in the day to to draw mm. and kind of stuff like that. So, um, like the reason I ask it is like, you know, if like a loved one dies, you, yeah. without being mean or anything, you do reflect on your own life and and like, yeah. okay, how long? have like what do I want to do with my life yeah do you think there was a bit of that and maybe no, looking after think, your mum or anything I like think that, that um, at that time I was in my early 20s um, and so you kind of it's you're not you're mindset. not at the stage where you're thinking about life death I mean from the stage that I'm at now hmm. obviously um, is um, th things come up um, that I'm experiencing as I, as I get older and I suddenly realise that's what you know what my mother was because my dad died when he was quite young mm. um but um, so it's kind of like um you know um, now i'm kind of understanding and, and kind of stuff like that you but, can reflect um, on it i can reflect yeah, on yeah. it yeah. yeah yeah and what about yeah. no right so that's young courtney yeah what about no and you kind of go oh, do you mind what age do you know courtney it doesn't matter it well matter. i should be 75 this year 75 yeah. so then you think all right what's the difference between young courtney and 75 year old courtney in your uh direction of your work and the way 